Hey everybody, uh, in this video I want to show you guys how to uh, pretty much replace the uh, motherboard in your uh, DVD drive for your Xbox 360. Uh, these are hard coded uh, to the motherboard of the 360 so we're going to be kind of like doing a weird way to get around that uh, and I won't be showing you the software tutorial on how to like change the IDs and all that other crap. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it the easy way. Um, and this is really simple. So uh, this is after you've already opened up your 360. Um, if you need to see how to open your 360, I've got a video on that. And um, all you have to do once you have it open is unplug the two cords that are going in here uh, from the 360. Uh, leave them connected to the motherboard so we can just not lose those later and it would be much easier to mess with. So uh, flip it over. Uh, oh wait, sorry, I forgot to tell you how to tell. Um, if you look at it, uh, you should be able to see um, like all the factory ID, um, what voltage and all that, all that crappy information. And uh, right here under the yellow warning, um, it should say something like Toshiba, Samsung, or um, BenQ, Microsoft, something like that. Uh, specifically what we're working with is the Toshiba Samsung but um, if you're not then there's other tutorials on how to do the other one but uh, this is the one that I'm doing right now uh, and I might fix the other one if it breaks later uh, so all you're gonna do is uh, unscrew the four little screws in the bottom of this um, and by the way the, uh, the Toshiba or Samsung one is actually much easier to fix than the other one. The other one requires pretty good soldering skills and um, so this one is much easier to fix. Um, usually these are only for Xboxes under a certain release date though. Uh, so anyways now that we have these unscrewed um, I'd suggest lifting this side first because it's got these two little black things in it and uh, those kind of hold it in place. Whoa. Those kind of hold it in place. So we're just gonna lift up on these and then uh and then we're gonna lift up on the other side and this plate comes off. And put that over there. Uh and now you see the board and all that hanging out on the inside of your uh inside of your case. Uh the only thing we have to do is uh um remove this little uh you'll see this little uh black button here. Um it's like a uh, clip I guess just kind of pull it back this way and uh, lift up on the little motherboard and uh, then pull back and it should just pop right up uh, careful how high you pull this because you don't want to rip out any of these little fragile cords in there um, but since this is the older version it's really easy to fix all you have to do is uh, pretty much pull this out pull this out and pull this little white thing here and I'll show you all three of these um, so the little white one here, you just pull that out. Big white one here, you pull that out. And the even bigger one here, you pull out. And um, then you just discard that. Uh, take your replacement drive, which has a good motherboard in it. And then uh, those only cost like $30 or something. It, it saves you from having to buy another Xbox. Uh, then just put that back in here and plug up all the same wires into the same spot. Um, and then to get it back on the clip correctly, you have to actually slide it in um, kind of diagonally on this side without the clip and then just kind of push down on the clip to get it to go back in there and then uh, that's it that's how you replace it and then just you know put the case back on the top and screw it on put it back in your Xbox and you're good to go uh, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I'll see you next time